Just cozy, cozy, cozy is kind of my goal for the day. They're so cute. Really proud of it. I like it. It feels, feels good. Ooh, bummer. Hi friends, welcome to a fun little vlog. I'm actually about to hop on therapy, but I wanted to say hi and hello before that started and kind of cue you in on a couple fun things, peak peak, that we have going on. I cannot wait for the day that I don't wear these same dang tanks every single day because it won't be triple digit temperatures. So ready for the first hint of fall. So I kind of wanted to see if I could summon fall by making my house a little cozier. So I got a couple things. They're actually from Walmart. I'm getting to partner with Walmart on today's video and I'm also hosting a girls night tonight. I wanna make it like cozy and cute. Only two friends can make it, but I think we're gonna do like breakfast for dinner. So I wanna make a cute little tablescape and just also make it cozy. Just cozy, cozy, cozy is kind of my goal for the day after therapy and we'll see what tomorrow brings as well. But I love you, I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna hop on. Um, and I'm really so excited for today. I'm like thinking through the dishes I wanna make. I might just do like waffles, hash browns, scramble, bacon, like the basics because it's kind of fun and comforting. Just wrapped. Therapy. Therapy always makes me so tired. Talking about feelings is a lot of work. <laughs> but how about we do a little fun, cozy fall haul? Oh guys, I can't wait to show you some of these things. They're so cute! Like I mentioned, I ordered all these things on Walmart's website. I'm getting to partner with them on today's video, meaning I'm gonna link all of these things in the description. And those links help to support my channel. The delivery was so fast. I thought there was a mistake because I placed my order and half the things got there that same day, like two or three hours after I placed the order. And I was like, ha what? So obviously it's not quite fall yet, but I wanna start incorporating some like cozy elements that aren't like themed decor. It's not time for pumpkins or anything quite yet for me. So I got a couple things like this throw. This throw blanket is like so plush and I wanted a little more texture color pattern for the couch in there to cozy up with and watch movies, etc., etc. This little lamp. I want just more cozy, warm lighting so at nighttime we don't have to have on the awful overhead lights in here. I actually got this in two colors. I'm waiting on the white one, but it's like this little glass, almost mushroom shaped lamp. I'm gonna go run and grab a light bulb for it, but just to cast some warm light, I wanna do one in the kitchen because I love the look of lamps on kitchen countertops and I don't have a little one. So I wanna put this one in the kitchen. Okay, this is actually for the new house because it's a king. We're getting a king bed in the new house. And this is a linen duvet cover. And I wanted to have, I'm, I'm still playing around with the colors because our bed frame is gonna be white. And I have a white duvet cover, but I wanted a color option in case it's just too much white. And so I saw this one and I was like, this is so fun to switch it out seasonally go between white and this beautiful kind of olive color. So I mentioned I'm having girls night tonight and I wanna do a couple cute little like candles and such, but I got six of these amber glasses. Look at the silhouette of that. I just love the color. It's like a very subtle fall tone for like a tablescape, but also totally year round as well. So I got six of those because I don't have a ton of like full size drinking glasses. I, I own six, so if they're in the dishwasher, they're dirty. And then I got this little set of taper candle holders. These are a great price point and I'm kind of testing these out as potential wedding decor because I might order a ton of these and put them on the tables with taper candles. So, so far I'm pleased because they come in a pack of four. And then of course I got some white taper candles year round, totally great. Also just like so cozy fall. Also these really fun kind of ribbed colored ones to mix in. And then are you ready for this? Look at these pink candles. Can you picture the vibe? The three of those together for like a fun girls night, dinner, tablescape. Anyways, that's what I got. So I'm gonna put a couple of the things around and I'm really excited to host the dinner tonight even though only two girls can make it. Still so much fun. Um, starting with putting this on the couch, but thank you to Walmart for partnering with me on this video. Like I said, I'll link all these things in this blanket. These, these are musts. These are musts. The price points are incredible and these are all so cute. So I got you, girl. 
<laughs> Wait, can you guys see that? of menu for tonight I basically just got all of the like cheap comforting types of things plus some gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins waffles gluten-free waffles if you want to elevate them besides just syrup I got lemon curd doesn't that sound really good on a waffle and then I got the cheap bowl like bulk hash browns but if we want to elevate that I thought it would be interesting I have dill I thought it'd be interesting to either treat the hash brown like bread and do cream cheese and smoked salmon and dill, or treat it like avocado toast and do avocado tomato seasoning situation. So you can like top your own hash brown if you'd like, or just eat it with ketchup. And then of course I got bacon, I got fruit, just strawberries, and I got eggs. I'm gonna do just a cheesy egg scramble. I don't eat eggs, I'm not supposed to, so I haven't bought eggs in forever, but this was like $1.29 for a dozen. Weren't eggs like $6 not that long ago? Because Jacqueline and Mark were complaining about how expensive eggs were, and I guess they've gone down. And then I got grapefruit juice, tangerine juice, juices, salsa for any of the toppings, and I just wanted cinnamon for me because I keep wanting to do like, <gasps> I'm gonna do a cinnamon matcha. I'm gonna do a cinnamon ice matcha, get these flowers in water, and clean a little before we make everything cute tonight. How's that sound? Everything is clean enough. <laughs> um, I started kind of unboxing and setting some of these things out. I can't decide if I want to do like the candle little tablescape on the dining table where we eat or along the island, but we'll figure that out in a second. I want to get out of these pants because I'm getting a little hot in them and not gonna lie, I'm kind of fading. That matcha didn't hit. Like it was delicious. Cinnamon and matcha is so good, but the caffeine did not hit. A little behind the scenes for you. I am filming a little reel uh, of setting up this table and those are my friends coming over. But look at how beautiful that shot is. Yes. <laughs> There's not too much I can prep until right before because like the bacon only takes 12 minutes to cook. The um, waffles take five. So I'm just gonna kind of cut and dress the tomatoes just in like a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper for now. I love hosting. I was telling the Trader Joe's girl, she was like, you doing anything fun today? You know how they always make the best conversation. And I told her, I was like, oh, I'm just having a couple girls over for breakfast, for dinner, vibes. She was like, you're so sweet to host. And I was like, actually, the best advice my mom gave me as a kid was try to host something at least once a month, hopefully more because that's what motivates you to like clean and get rid of things and just like all the little annoying household tasks that you don't want to do. When you know people are coming over, it's just a nice little encouragement to finally do them and then your house stays like pretty clean throughout the year. And my thing is I think it just makes your house feel so much like, especially if you live alone, especially if you live alone, it makes your home feel so much more purposeful and like less lonely and more full of life to invite people over into it. 
And also, also, I just love an excuse to stay home because I feel like I'm so busy and like traveling all the time. So it's kind of, it's kind of a little bit selfish too for me to be like, I'll host, you guys come here. I like my apartment. I would like to have a night here. <laughs> Look at how beautiful these tomatoes are. Let me show you in the sun. Look at, look at all those, they're like Christmas. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying to get a general idea for layout. I'm gonna make this like board of savory toppings that people do make. Topped uh, hash browns, Max keeps thinking, is it my dinner time yet? <laughs> Ever since I switched his food, he begs for dinner. He never used to do that. Okay, I'll feed you in just a second. Okay, you're so cute. So I'm thinking hash browns next to this. Uh, muffins, bacon, waffles next to this and putting out some butter and maybe some honey as well eggs next to salsa and I'll just need to remember butter, ketchup, and then it's kind of like you walk through a little bar and then you like make your own either avocado or cream cheese and salmon little hash brown or you eat it with ketchup if you're normal. I've got some at 97 going, bacon because I feel like bacon can sit for a few minutes, displayed the muffins and then I'm about to pop these in in about 10 minutes but I'm not going to do the waffles and the eggs till they're basically almost here because nobody wants waffles or eggs cold. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get these just real crispy because they take a while. But anyways, please enjoy a little montage of us hanging out. I'll probably get a couple iPhone clips, so. Um, but then I'm excited to spend tomorrow with y'all. I am. I wanna be productive. I also wanna rest night. I think I'm gonna really block tomorrow night off for rest for me because I feel like my body's telling me that I need it. So I think I'm gonna do that. feel about direct sun filming um i slept in it's it's nine it is nine i slept in a little past eight because i didn't go to bed till after midnight but last night was so fun i also tried an experiment for the first time where i didn't tape my nose last night here let's move to okay here we are i didn't tape my nose for the first time sleeping and it definitely feels a lot more swollen waking up but it's been quite a while since my procedure so i wanted to see if i could get away with not taping it while I sleep anymore. I think I don't have to anymore, but it does feel like it makes the difference. So, interesting experiment. It's now almost 11 and I've gotten a lot done, but not, not everything that I want to get done. Taking a little break to eat some chicken salad with chips. Oh, Max says chicken? You're allergic. And I think I am gonna take a gym break to get a little movement in before getting ready for the day. Look at this boy. Look at him. You can't have it, Bubba. Trust me, you'll regret it. But another thing I did is um, kind of just explaining to my wedding planner, my manager, the types of signage I want. I mentioned this on TikTok. I want to do a sign explaining because we're spacing out food throughout the night of the wedding. And so I was like, let me just quickly draft up a little example of what I mean. And then I made a whole sign. And I think it's actually so cute. Maybe we'll just use this. But explaining to people like, it'll, first it'll be sushi, then it'll be tacos, then it'll be cake and donuts, and then it will be cocktails and s'mores, and then it will be pizza. You know, so people don't like just see the sushi and they're like, I think I need to eat all this because I think this might be all the food we get tonight. You know, I think it's a good idea. Guys, I need an opinion. I've worn this set once. And I washed it. The pants didn't shrink, but the shirt shrunk a ton. And now it is so cropped. It is so cropped. I don't think I, I don't think, I don't think I can wear the shirt anymore. If I like pull it down and pull the pants way up, maybe, but like, oh, bummer. I think this is a little bit better. Um, there's one project that I would like to try to tackle with you today. I'm going to start 
piece by piece, just like cleaning out little areas that have gotten a little bit out of control, getting rid of things, paring down, just to make when it comes to packing time and move time a little bit easier. And one thing that's gotten a little bit out of control is this coat closet, this coat and bag closet. There's just like random bags shoved up here. We need to take them all down and assess them. And it's, there's not a ton of stuff in here. It's just every time I open it, I get disheveled. I feel disheveled. And I haven't been able to find my fanny pack in quite a while and I'm hoping it's somewhere in this closet. So let's fix it. <laughs> after it's subtle but it makes a big difference the floor doesn't have as much stuff this is a bag full of tote bags <laughs> and then my work uh, backpack my cute backpack my max backpack all of my purses tap shoes pottery supplies umbrella and my little phone straps so all of the like kind of like grab and go things that I normally need before I leave the house I can see them all <laughs> feels good to get a little project done and it took 10 minutes I need to do that. I need to do like a project a day, probably, to start preparing for moving. But one of them down, and I found the fanny pack. Very glad about that. <laughs> it's matcha o'clock, and I'm gonna do another cinnamon matcha again today because that was pretty good yesterday. I think I'm out of oat milk. This is the hard thing about being an oatly girl is you gotta go certain places to get it. So I might have to go do an oat milk run this afternoon, but kind of nice to have an excuse to get out and run an errand because otherwise all the things I got to do today are just here at home. Striking out on a oat milk expedition, but I wanted to take the drive as an opportunity to do a little car chat with y'all because there's been something, this is always how it goes. I realize something about myself, I sit on it for a week, I think about it, I kind of try to like put it into words and come to terms with it, and then I'm like, okay, this car chat is fully baked, I'm ready to share. This time, I feel like it's mostly baked. I hope I can put this into words appropriately, but the, the, the TLDR is I've realized that I'm stepping into this new feeling and maybe this new season of life where I am just very tired of giving off weak energy. By that I mean like literally letting people perceive me as weak. I've done that a lot and I was thinking about why why do I do that? I think a lot of us, especially if you're raised in the South, raised as a woman or raised as a Christian, or some of us, all three of those things, I think that we kind of associate appearing as weak and meek with being kind and likable. And so I've done that for most of my life is essentially put off this energy of absolutely treat me like a doormat, do whatever you want, I won't say anything about it because I want to be as nice as possible and have at it. There are some biblical things of like, you know, if someone takes the shirt off your back, offer them your shoes, that's not a verse, you know what I mean. There's like that sentiment, which I think, I mean, to an extent, if done healthily, is good, but I think that I have taken it too far. And I, for the first time in my life, have like kind of started standing up for myself in some circumstances. And I'm realizing that you can still be a kind, loving person, but also say, hey, that thing you just said to me was a little rude and stand up for yourself in that way. Um, I guess it's maybe just me being a little less afraid of confrontation, but to me, it feels like I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to put up this energy anymore that I'm weak. I'm going to let you know that I am strong and that I will stand up for myself and then still be kind about it. And I was also kind of like, okay, why is this awakening in me now? And I think honestly being in a relationship that I feel seen, heard, safe and protected is huge because previously I kind of had to maintain that weak persona as almost a survival mechanism because there was no way that I could like fight back and stand up for myself because that would escalate a situation to a physically dangerous point. And so I'm really thankful that I now have been out of that 
type of environment for long enough for two years at this point and in an environment that fosters love and safety and care to where I've been able to kind of like build up the ability to grow that side of me and to have the realization of wow I can be kind and I can be direct <laughs> I can stand up for myself and in fact I think it's kind to myself to stand up for myself. I think I've lived a lot of my life trying to be kind to everyone around me except for to me. I don't know, it feels different, it feels good. I am still trying to, I guess, foster that to a healthy point. Sometimes I take it a little too far and sometimes I don't even defend myself at all. So lots of growing yet to do, but it's been a change that I've noticed in myself and really proud of it. Feels good. Hopefully that's encouraging to someone else too. Be as kind to yourself as you are to the people around you and being weak doesn't make you any kinder. That's it. Like I said, it was a par-baked <laughs> cookie of a car thought. Edible nevertheless. Let's go get some oat milk and let's get back to Maxi Boy. All right, mission accomplished. We got more oat milk, but I also want to try a little experimental recipe with you. I love listening to the What We Said podcast. I just think it's so fun. And they have kept mentioning, it's always been an ad, but a protein company that they work with, they always mention frothing it with orange juice to have like an orange creamsicle kind of situation. I love orange creamsicle. And I was thinking, I have all this leftover tangerine juice from last night. So when I was there, I just picked up the generic uh, protein powder that was um, pea protein. That's my favorite type of protein, this pea protein base, but I need to order more of the brand I really like. I normally like the Ritual protein powder, but this will do for now. And I wanna try it with a ton of ice. I wanna make it like, kind of, like you know the frozen lemonades from Chick-fil-A where it's creamy, but it's citrusy, but it's thick and frozen? I wanna see if we can get that. I wanna see if we can accomplish that. Something tells me it's gonna be better and creamier with oat milk in there too, but I wanna just try it with these three ingredients first. Also, I finally learned the hard way to measure my liquids in the cup I'll be drinking it in so that I don't overdo it. Okay, so there goes the ice, the tangerine juice. I'll just do a big old scoop of protein powder. It's French vanilla flavored. If I like this, I'd be pumped because this will give me 20 more grams of protein. Okay. Yeah, I think that's plenty. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is thick. Very thick. It's very, I guess it's kind of frosty. Milkshake frosty. The only thing I'm not loving is how chalky the protein powder is. I think if I did half a scoop of protein powder, you could taste the orange more. It would taste a little more balanced. But also I need to probably try a higher quality brand. Ah, uh, brain freeze. Ooh, yeah. The more orange juice, the better. Okay. Okay, I'll keep playing with this. I'll keep experimenting. I have a strict goal for myself for trying to wrap up all of my computer work by 6.30 tonight and then having a full night off. I haven't done that in so long. I've been kind of like disrespecting my own time off by constantly multitasking. Like, I don't think I've turned off my brain. I'm either filling my schedule a lot with like social plans or if I sit down and I listen to a podcast or something, I'm always multitasking on my computer. And I think that's been taking more of a toll on my brain than I've realized. I have a goal to wrap all of my stuff up by 6.30, like a normal adult <laughs> with a normal job, and then just enjoy and have a night in, not have any social plans. I don't know, maybe even watch a movie. I don't think I've turned on my projector since surgery recovery. It's always very enjoyable when I do. So I think I need to do that. I think it's been about two months. With that being said, I'm going to transition to computer work. That gives me about three hours to get all the rest of my stuff done. I think I could totally do it. So I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. But I wanted to say thanks again to Walmart for partnering with me on this video. These candlesticks, that blanket, the cute little lamp, all of the things will be linked down in the description. All oh, the cups, all oh, the glasses are so cute. I'll have them all linked in the description for you if you wanna shop them online. So easy to do. Thanks for spending the day with me. I will see you for a weekend vlog very soon and I'm excited about it. Okay. So let's take on